We're live here in Columbus, Ohio at the Destroy Lonely concert. We just went inside backstage because I was supposed to have a media pass through the venue, not the label. So uh, when we went to get our media passes, pretty much one of the dudes working for Homicide Gang pretty much told us they wanted no media. So it's kind of a buzz kill because we're just trying to spread the culture, not no bad intentions, but they basically just saw the camera and shut us down. Um, but still, a shout out to everyone at the venue that was going to make this happen that gave us the opportunity i know you guys like the tour concert videos so we're going to keep them coming but uh yeah we're just going to be interviewing opium fans and uh seeing seeing what's going on so yeah <laughs> what does being an opium fan mean to you man love that's what i mean you gotta you just love it's just so different because it's like rap and rock combined into one but you know i love people don't fuck with rock so it's just like when you fuck with rap and rock it's just it's a whole new it's like you know a whole new lyric but a whole new would you do anything gay for any of them hell yeah yeah. How far are you going? Get up the ass or some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're getting up the ass. What are you getting in return? A hoodie. Yeah. yeah. What's the best part of be about being an opium fan? It kind of sucks, honestly, because Cardi never drops. But like, like Lone's the goat right now. I mean, he's coming up. He's about to be the bigger than bigger than Kanye, bigger than Michael Jackson. He's about to be the biggest artist of all time, bro. What do you like in a style in a girl? That woman right behind the cameraman, boy. Don't turn the camera. Do not turn the <laughs> I've never actually seen these shirts. Where did you get this shirt? I made it myself. Oh, really? Shit, I just sharpied it. You gotta show them the back. <laughs> that shit fucked up. Says, no stylist tour. This is your own tour merch. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I feel like the aesthetic is like Rick's and skinny opium girl. Would you get with like a big opium girl? Is that cool too? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Why are you not showing the big girls any love? I've been with the big girl. Ain't too fun, bro. So you got your swagging. You're not spending too much money. If you had the money, would you be draped out in Rick and stuff, or is this? Just... Yeah, I got Rick at home right now. I just ain't brought it out. You feel me? I wore it to the show last. You know what I'm saying? I always stay dripped out. Like, What's so cool about wearing Rick? It's just a style. Like you can't like really explain it for real. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be a certain type of person. Just rock that shit and rock it a certain way. Cause any nigga out here could be wearing Rick, but like. I see a lot of niggas, they don't know how to wear that shit. You got to know how to, you know what I'm saying, rock it, but it's an amazing feeling. Shout out, Rick. What do you look for in a girl? I just want a girl to stay, bro, honestly. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the hoes, they leave me, you know what I'm saying? But some long hair, she cool as fuck. She chill, you know, she into what I'm into for the most part. You know, she genuine, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you can't trust these hoes these days, so it is what it is, bro. Are you the type of dude that would, like, only date an opium girl? Hell no, I'm in all types of bitches. I'm in the nerd hoes. I'm in the BBWs, man. Come this way. Come on. I'm with all that shit. Hell yeah. What is the ideal opium girl? She got a big ass booty, man. Big ass titties, man. On a scale from 1 to 10, how big of an opium fan are you? Bro, I'm a fucking 11, my nigga. Why don't you have on all black? <laughs> Type shit, baby. We opium, bro. Are you into Asians? 100%, bro. I love all races, bro. Equally, bro. I love me a Pakistani bitch just as much as I love me a bad emo bitch. Why are you an opium fan? Oh, man, it's the energy everybody brings. Everybody brings the energy, the pits. Everybody goes crazy. Like, it's just so wild. That's why I always go to every opium show, just the pure energy. How old are you, sir? I'm 22. Are you ever going to grow out of this phase? Be honest. Probably, probably not. No, probably not. Why is G superior to Destroy Lonely? The numbers. He's a white boy, and I'm white. Why do you like Yeet or Destroy Lonely? Yeet's white. <laughs> I'm not from Ohio. Is this just like the only black thing you had? Is that why you threw it on? No, I bought it at Goodwill yesterday. For this concert? And just in general. <laughs> why? I was, I was coming to, I was traveling to Ohio. Where are you from? I'm from West Virginia. You came here just for the show? And to bask in the glory. I'm real deal. You're real yeah, deal. Yeah, I'm screwing on. Yeah. You are real look, deal opium. What does that mean? It means Bane and those stylists are my favorite songs ever. It's my most played Spotify song. <laughs> See, how many times? How many hours? I think it was like 374 times last year. <laughs> are you into opium, bitches? Does she listen to Bane? Yes or no? I'm talking from a fashion sense and a physical appearance. Is Bane always on her mind, yes or no? <laughs> More than likely. Then I love opium bitches. If they got Bane on their mind, that's all I need to know. How far would you go to spend a day with Destroy Lonely? How many times is it going to play Bane? <laughs> is, is the whole all black wave kind of cringe or? Nah, only black, nothing else, nothing else, man. Is that cringe or do you think that's actually dope? 
Nah, bro, only black. You know, I'm so opium. It's crazy. <laughs> Nothing but opium. Right. Well, everyone at the show has been telling me to find you. Um, they said you're the biggest opium fam here. Can you state your name and why you're so dedicated to opium? My name is uh, William Robert Byers, and um, I'm the biggest opium fan because um, I've listened to Bane a little bit more over than like 400 times. I love seeing like I'm so high right now, Scotty. Holy shit! He's just fried, guys. Hey, hey. <laughs> Bane. Is the whole opium all black thing cringe, or are you actually invested in it? I'm invested. I'm gonna be honest. All black is the easiest fit to pull off. What is your ideal opium girl? She got Rick's on. I'm in. Do you like opium guys? Yes. Yeah. What's your ideal opium guy? It's just like really tall and they kind of look dead. Why is that attractive to you? I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just it's endearing. So would you like them to actually be dead? No, just like when they kind of look like a little bit lifeless, you know. Alright. Oh! <laughs> they missed us! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you opium? <laughs> oh, very. What does that mean? It means uh, wearing all black and wanting to have intercourse with Playboy Cardi. What's your ideal opium girl? This one, this one right here, my girlfriend. Aww. You guys, boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes. No, we're siblings. This is my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, this is my birthday present. So. See, this is this is the opium girl. You guys, not this one, but. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not this one, but in general. What do you like about him? I'm trying to get Um. I like. Why are you thinking about it? <laughs> um, I think he's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like opium guys? Yeah, they're my type. Yeah. So another girl said dead. Do you like the dead look? Yeah, it's hot. Drained and dead? Yeah. What's attractive about that? It just is. You agree? Not really. Is there anyone here that's drained and dead looking? Oh, <laughs> uh, the guy in the blonde hair. Come on, we gotta talk to him. Um, she's into opium dudes. Um, a previous girl said she was into drained and dead dudes, so I asked her if she was into drained and dead dudes, and she said, yes, drained is hot. And I said, you see anyone who's drained? She said, yeah, dude in the black beanie and blonde hair. So pretty much, she's into you, you're drained and dead, what do you gotta say back? Uh, how old are you? 17. Okay, I'm 16, that's fine. Oh, that's easy. That's fine. Oh. Now that you've seen him up close, you still fucking with him? Yeah. Okay. You fucking with her? Hell yeah. 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 Someone tell me what happens next. Hey, you play Valorant? You play Valorant? A little bit. Oh. I'm immortal. I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 I'm not going to lie. Oh. Hey, right before we came here, bro, we made a song called Minutes Before. Sing it. Can we just play that bitch right now? Play it. Play it. Play it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And y'all was like, she giving me hell. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. My Instagram is uh, C L I N T dot M B. My Instagram is soup one W A N W O N. Oh, the shirt. Yeah. What does the shirt say, Jasim? I can't say it, bro. Do you really be eating bad bitch pussy for lunch? Yeah. No. Every day. No, no, no. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> On the day. <laughs> On the day. Why not? Why not? I don't know, bro. I'll just be doing it, bro. These hoes be dirty. Your time gonna come. Yeah. It's time, go come. It's That's time. Time. She pulls up to the concert and you see her. She's got on this and looks like this. You're hitting. What is that? Gotta have the all black fit, nose ring, shorter than me. Shorter than you? That's it. You gotta be wearing Rick or no? Yeah, I gotta be having Rick's on. Honestly, if you're trying to get footage inside the venue and you can't take a camera in, this is the way. On God, what you just planning to get with that. Uh, hello, Mosfit Vids, because I'm him. So just black fit everywhere you go. You gotta look like an idiot, and you just gotta go on Panda buy and cop reps. So if you had money to buy designer, would you rock it, or are you just the type of dude that can make anything look sick? Both, for real. Cause you feel me? I mean, I got some big ass space boots on right now, and I'm rocking them. Are those Ricks? 
Hell no. Nah. This some little shit. How right. much some run you up? Nah, shit. Found him in the fucking garage. Some muck boots. Hey, hell yeah. How did you get your dad to come to this concert? Hey, he loves them. He loves all the stuff they do. We've been to uh, Ken. We've been to Cardi. We've been to, this is our second time during the No Solid Store. So you a real deal opium fan. That's right. Would you say you're into opium women? I am married, sir. Oh, okay, respect. I'll respect your marriage. What about you, son? Are you uh, into opium girls? Yes. yes. That's a definite yes. What's your ideal opium girl? Shit. She got all black, probably some Ricks on or something. Uh, what else? Number nine. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gone. You cool with that? Hey, I'm down. Yes. Down with him? Oh, yeah. It's my boy. So what was the stuff you grew up listening to? Metal and Grateful Dead. Anybody with talent and got something good to say. So, like, you think the message is good? Oh, yes, for sure. Like, fucking bitches and getting money? Always. Okay. Respect that. Have a good night. Take care. Yep. Can you tell us where we're at? We are at the King of Clubs, about to see Destroy Lonely and Homicide Gang. How does that make you feel? So excited. Would you say you're into opium girls? 100%. What's your ideal, like, opium girl? What's she got to be wearing? What's she look like? She got to, she got to... She gotta mess with Rick. She don't gotta have a paper. She gotta, she gotta mess with them. Do you know what Ricks are? How do you feel about them? Do they look like clown shoes or what? They look like Doug shoes from the '90s Doug cartoon with they, Patty Mayonnaise. So you don't like them? You clowning them? They're overpriced Chuck Taylors. She's kind of right. She kind of gets it. Do you hope your son becomes a rapper? Whatever he does, as long as he's doing it legally and is happy. It's a W mom, guys. W in the chats. W in the chats, for real. My mom, if she saw me dressed like this, wearing that at this age, she'd be like, what the fuck you doing, Scott? Like, bro, but you're, you're lying. Lie. I ask myself that. Like, I when he comes down the stairs in the mornings, I'm just kind of, what the frig is that? Okay, whatever. So are you into opium, boys? No. No, why not? They're the sassiest type of boys. <laughs> what do you like? Um, I like the Tyler Creator boys. What's a Tyler Creator boy? Like, I just like people who like soul music. Bush and 9-11, there's shit they don't want you to know. They never found weapons of mass destruction in Iraq or Iran. I'm drunk right now, I forgot which country. I'm just gonna ruin that conspiracy theory right now. Something definitely happened, but jet fuel, we gotta eliminate that conspiracy theory. We gotta, we gotta eliminate the conspiracy theory. I hope the governor of Texas gets pushed out of his wheelchair. How did this get political? Hey, we had a fun time, all the vamps came out, and we went, we went crazy. Are you proud to be a vamp? I'm a vamp till I die, bro. Okay, if you're a valid vamp, you should be able to drop a freestyle right now. I got that bitch in my hoe. Yeah, she be sucking on my toe. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's it. So, uh, the last time I met you, you was getting no bitches, and you was lifting weights and playing Valorant. You wrestle? No. What do you do? I don't get any bitches, so I got a lot of free time, so I lift weights. Oh, okay. How's that going? Pretty good. You getting any bitches? Or? No bitches still, but I'm working on it. Why not? I focus a lot on my uh, Valorant rank. What do you mean by that? I'm silver two, working to get plat one. How's all that going? So I'm still um, lifting some weights, still playing Valorant. So, but more of the story, like still no bitches or? I think I think times are, it's looking up for me. You know, um, yes, still no bitches, but it's a it's a work in progress. It's like climbing the ladder. What have you learned since the Ken show about getting bitches? Even though you've got no bitches, what have you learned? I learned that. Um, can't trust a bitch. I learned that the hard way. I believe you. Um, you know, 
but I'm just trying to just trying to take it step by step. And one of these days, you're gonna see me pull up with a bad bitch to a to a loan show. Are you going for opium girls, or what are you going for? You know, I'm not really trying specifically for an opium girl, but like, I don't want a boring broad who I can't bring to a concert. So, like, <laughs> a boring broad. If I ever like found out, like I was talking to a girl, and I found out that she was working like at Macy's. Maybe you got my parlay hit. <laughs> I just went into the concert, threw a parlay down before it. Just had a three leg parlay. Just How much we winning? 30 bucks. <laughs> 30 bucks, hey, that was a $5 bet to 30 bones. How old are you? I'm 20. <laughs> I'm Teen X. Yeah, I'm Teen X. You can say that. What does it mean to be Teen X? Group of guys and gals, just, you know, they want to get down and they want to have a lot of fun, you know? And every time we come out here, you know, it's just instant classic. You know, I might be 20 years old, but I'm still Teen X, so. <laughs> I thought about hanging up the cleats after this one because I was kind of dying tonight, but. My name Hi. Is Hibachi? Hibachi? Yes, Hibachi. Nice, nice to meet you. Can you uh, say, she me up like it's Benny Bachi? No. Okay. Um, what does it mean to be opium? Wear leather pants. Are you into opium, guys? I'm into you. Are you into opium, guys? Yes. So, what is your ideal opium guy? Um, where's a Arcateriax beanie? Um, okay. Kind of looks Filipino. Close. Um, Yeezys. Yeah. It's Hibachi and Scotty, and we're going to let you guys know if these fits are opium or not. Okay, here we go. First fit. We're going to rate it on opium to not opium. Okay. okay. The Uggs are definitely giving Brandy Woman, but I still like it. It's comfy. I don't know how they didn't get ruined. I like your shirt hat. Uh, five out of ten. Okay, six out of ten. Damn. What do you have to say about that? Uh, six out of ten. Uh, a lot of people say um, that that's not too bad. And uh, C's will get you through school, and a six out of ten will get me through life. So that's a D. Okay, the shoes. How did you? Yeah, what are you're those? Literally, are sick. bro. How did you not break your ankles? I don't even know. I almost died like a hundred times. But you. Wait, how tall are you without them? Five two. So how tall are you with them? How tall are you? Uh, five ten. I'm like five ten. Oh shit. 5'11? Maybe with your app. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Are you opium? I think I am opium on a good day. Do you think it's cringe? I'm curious. Being opium? Uh, no, I think it's sexy. Are you into opium boys? Stand by that. Uh, sometimes. Depends on their character. If they have a good opium character, that's what counts. So you're into frat dudes? So true. <laughs> what are you into besides opium boys? What's the other half? Women. Really? Yes. Yeah. You see yourself getting married to a woman or a guy and why? I see myself with an opium boy long term just because I just want like all black house, all black sheets, all black boy. You heard that right. <laughs> Are you Satanist? Yes. Are you serious? No. I can confirm that Destroy Lonely told me that he believes in God. So you don't need to be a Satanist to be opium. 